Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praises are due to Allah, the Lord, Keeper, Evolver, Sustainer of all the worlds. Wa salatu, and may the prayers. Wa salamu, and may the peace. Allah Rasulahi Kareem Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam be upon his honorable, noble, gracious, generous messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Mubarak. We pray Rabbana antina fi dunya hasanatain wa fi akhirati hasanatain wa kina adab bin nar. O our Rabb, O our Lord, O our Evolver, O oh, our nourisher, O oh, our sustainer, give us the hasan, give us the beauty, give us the excellence in this life. And that's straight from Quran, that's Surah 2, Bakara, Ayat 201. Well, I say, there are some who pray for the best in this life and for the best in the Akhir and to be protected from the torment of the hellfire. In another place he say there are those who just pray for this life, but they have no good in the afterlife. So he speaks of those, and that's dua, it's a, it's a dua. Rabbana, O our evolver, just like we say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, nourisher, evolver, caretaker of all the worlds, most do I say, O Rab Ben An, O our Rab, O our Evolver. This particular one say, Give us the Hassan, the excellence, the good, the beauty. And we always try to relate it right to ourselves. So you know the Hassan, I always talk about it. You might know a sister named Hassan. It means pretty, beautiful, good, excellent. You know somebody named Hassan or Hussein, right? All of that's the same, beautiful, excellent, pretty, right? And Allah used that same word when he said to him belongs the best of names, right? So this hasuna or husna, all of that, is the best. And Allah says in teen, so you grab this beauty connection, Allah says of the human being in Surah Teen, the fig, he says, after saying what Tini was a doom by the fig and the olive, what Tini was a doom, what Turi Sini by Mount Sinai, where Moses got his mission, etc. What Tini was a doom, what Turi Sini, what Hether Baladil Amin, and by this city understood to be Mecca. Secure, secure, and truthful. Allah gives that. Then the fourth one, so you hear, after Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, this time it's in the people. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim of that surah team. Wa tini wa zaytun, wa turi sinin, wa hadal baladil amin. So what you see is, he mentions vegetables or fruit, whatever you call them, the olive and the, and the fig, right? Fruit, I believe, right? Allah might be a vegetable. But he mentions that. And we know the fig has a lot of seeds. Fig. Figment of your imagination. A lot of ideals. So he said, What did he want to say? Do. Then from the many to the one. But the Allah had one pit. And that's what happened with Moses and Muhammad the prophet. That the people worship many ideals of God, but with Muhammad the Prophet, as with Moses, know that your God is one. They established the oneness, right? One seed, right? And that's what Muhammad the Prophet, although there were many tribes, he brought it into one community. But they had 300 and some odd idols for each day of the year. But when he brought the message of Tarihi, of wholeness, Allahu Ahad, Halas, right? That's so 112. Say, Kuhu Allahu Ahad, right? 
So it moved from the many to the one. And you know, statement of your imagination that you can imagine doing certain things, have a plenty of ideals, but at some point to really progress, you got to come to one seed, one pit, one good focus. And the Allah of Allah mentions that in Surah 24, Noah, that his light is lit in a glass, and it, as, it, with olive, olive oil, and it gives off light even before the fire touches it, right? So anyway, <laughs> this thing, <laughs> Quran, you get in one place, man, and you just be there, man. You know, we are supposed to go, so we're still with Hassan, we got that. But here, but that's how, that's where it relates to us. Hassan Hussein, Hassan, all of that, right? Rabbana Anti Nafi Dunya Hassan. Well, here, Watini was a doom, Waturi Sani. Now you go from the trees to vegetables, tour to a mountain, which is so important to us because when you perform Hajj, you got to make it to Mount Arafat, right? And that's what Muhammad the Prophet gave his farewell address at Arafat. And when you perform Hajj, if you don't make it to the mountain, Arafat, your Hajj is not complete, right? So here, mountain, where you see Muhammad the Prophet got it at the mountain, Moses got his at the mountain, right? Waturi Sani, right? And then it says, he says, Waturi Sani, then it says, Wahadal Bela de la Mi. Now you come from mountain, you come down to the city, right? To the land, right? To this sacred city. Now, what comes after that? I just did that so you see what came before. The fourth one Allah says, Laka Talab Nal and Sanafi Hasani Tukwini. You see? So he gave us the outer world, then he brought it to us. You understand? You can relate to this. You can relate to olives and figs and mountains and cities. Well, what about this? So he goes there and says, Look, I call up now and stand after you, Asani Tuck Wing. That I've created you in this Hassan. In this Hassan. So Hassan, Hassana, Hussein, all of that, right? So he created you in this beautiful nature. You see? So he said, Look, definite. It's done. When you hear the L, cut is one thing. L means it's done. It's past. Lock up. Call up now. In Santa, the Asini, the Queen. I've created you in this beauty. In this beauty. In this tough Queen is Kiam. Upright. So I tell Mustaqim, Kiam, when we start. In the beautiful, upright nature. And then in another place, Allah says in Surah 20, uh, two or 3, Ali Imran. That is Allah who formed you in the womb. Then another place, that not only did he form you, he made your form most beautiful. Oh, you see? So this Hassan, Allah created that in us. He made you in the best. And it really ties in with what Muhammad the Prophet says. He said, you're all born on the fitra, the good, beautiful nature, right? Born a Muslim, peace, right? So Muhammad the Prophet said, we're all born on the fitra. It's our environment that changes. So Allah says all this. So anyway, when we say the dua, if Allah created us in this Hassan, then doesn't it flow? Then you say, Rabban and Anti Nafi doing your Hassan? Give me the best in this life since you made me the best. You see the logic and beauty of Quran, right? So, 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 so we wouldn't want to be created in the best and pray for the less. I didn't create you that way, as Muhammad the Prophet say, when a Muslim seeks to do something, he seeks to do the best. Same word. Logic, right? All this beauty of God, powerful. So we pray, right? Give me the best in this life. So I had the best family, the best business, the best schools, the best master situation, the best health, the best mindset, the best thinking. But this, this same being, whether it's physical, spiritual, or whatever, inshallah, we're, we're, I lay this body down, but whatever else exists beyond this, we're going to the next life, the Antioch, right? So we're saying the same, give me Hassan, so if I'm, gonna, if I'm Hassan, when I go to the next life, keep it consistent. So that's why I say, without being an Antioch, if you're doing your Hassan attack, well, I said, it doesn't change. The word could easily change, right? 
It is turned to Kaira. Kaira, Salatu Kaira, men and now, right? Sleep, right, right? Uh, Salat is better than sleep, right? But it keeps that with your nature. So, this is the, <laughs> just the do it. Rub that at from crown with him. Rub that at Auntie Nephew doing your house thing. Well, if it Auntie right to house it, what that as that been not? And protect us from the torment of the hellfire. Now, to show you the beauty spiritual part of this, you know, and I mentioned this last week, Wali, right? Wali, somebody named Wali is a protecting friend, right? The person getting married, did the sister have a Wali, right? Someone to protect and look out for their interests. When you hear that dua, you don't hear the word Wali. You say wacky, wacky, that's from Takwa. Takwa from a wacky, wacky, right? It would be the W, right? Although Takwa in the structure, you'll see the T. But it's really the Q, uh, wacky, the, the W in, in, in the Q. Now, look at the beauty of this. So it says, give us the best here and in the future. But also give us that Takwa as a protection. That when I pursue the material life, I pursue it with the right mindset and the right concept. That I don't so pursue it at any cost. Arriving, stealing, oppressing, enslaving people, right? And I don't pursue the accurate at the neglecting of my responsibility in this life. So bring me into that consciousness. Now, to show you how that consciousness, Ramadan is coming up. Go to Bakura, Sur 2, I at 183, and Allah says, I've given you fasting some, and fasting is be given to you, but I use the word not just given, it's kutiba, prescribed. Like, you, you know, kitab is book, kateba he wrote, kutiba is like he wrote a prescription, right? He said, I've, I've, I've given to you, prescribed for you fasting, just like I kutiba those before you. So that means you can read in Quran about fasting, you can read in the scriptures before, because it says prescribed like the doctor wrote a prescription, Fasting for you like I prescribed it for those before you. Why? So you will have taqwa. Not a physical thing. So you will come in. So when Ramadan comes and we fast and do the right things, inshallah, it will increase the taqwa. You understand? That that consciousness, loving fear of Allah and righteousness. You see? So all that goes in together. So when we say, give us the taqwa, oh, alhamdulillah, brother. I mean, if you don't get it now, inshallah, when Ramadan comes, you do the fasting and the right thing, maybe it will increase. And that's what we say, Ramadan is always on time. Because we might lose something over the year, and Allah gives us a chance to come back into that consciousness. And just imagine if you don't, if you was able to, the whole year. But he don't say if you, if you kept it, you don't get some more. <laughs> right? But if you kept it, then Ramadan comes, it advances even more. And that's one dua from Bakura 201 that we hear all the time. And Hasana. So, dear believers, keeping this in mind, if you go to, and, and we say this because we're also live on Facebook and other places, so if they're not in Juma, you can pull out their Quran, right? If you go to Ali and Ran, that's the third surah of Quran. And you go to Ayat 160. Stand with this Hassan right now. This beauty, this excellence, goodness that Allah created us in. And that we pray for Allah and Happy Nephew Hassan, right? Allah says, listen carefully. You don't have to know the Arabic, but you just keep this word Hassan. You're going to know that. You're going to hear that every time. I'm going to make sure you hear that, right? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Men. Jabil Hassanati. So you got Hassan. Beauty, excellent, Hassan, Hassan, whoever you know. Pretty beauty, right? Look what Allah says. Who? Whoever, men. Men Jah. Jah is to bring forward. You say Jael Ha, the truth has come, right? So he says, Men Jael be Hassanati. Whoever brings Hassan. Whoever brings goodness, brothers and sisters, 
Whoever brings kindness, whoever brings this excellence to the people, to someone else, whoever do good, that's what it's saying, right? Whoever do good, whoever strive to do excellence, so whoever, and it says, yeah, meaning whoever bring it. So you can bring to a situation that need goodness, that need excellence, right? Or that already have it, but you still do good deeds to enhance it even more. That's three words just from there. Men, yeah, men, yeah, be hustling at thee. Look what Allah says for doing that. Fellahu ashru. Now this Ashra is 10. Ashra, Ashra, I Shingra is 10. Allah well, said, whoever brings Hassan, whoever do good, guess what their credit is? 10 times more than the good. Now you heard that, but I'm going to tell you where to find it, right? Go to Saw 3, I at 160. Allah well, said, whoever brings good to a situation, whoever do good, you don't just get the benefit of the good, brother. It's like investment, right? Like you invest in the stock market, whatever you invest in. You invest to get more than what you invested, right? I'm doing halal stuff. You invest to get more, right? So Allah says, when you invest in goodness, when you do good, brother, Allah said, when you bring jam, Jael, like I said, Jael, ha, truth has come. Allah says, men, who, whoever, men, Jael, bil hasanati, fellahu ashrahu, imdaliha. The likeness, he did ten times like that. So isn't that an encouragement to do good deeds? To do good, and really, before shaitan influences us, it's already a part of us. Well, I said, I created you a husband, right? I created you not in sin. I created you a good creature. So you do good deeds, you're going to get ten times more for just being your natural self. Your natural self is to be good. And you know, Muhammad the prophet has something called Bashir, right? Mu Bashir is a good news bringer. Bashir, right? Someone picked the name Bashir, they're picking it as a good news, person who brings good news, right? Bashir. The B, the S H, and Bashir, right? Bashir. So, listen to that. Now, we're already saying a lot told us in team, he created us in this Hassan, right? We pray for Hassan this life and the next. So, a lot say, now, if you do Hassan, you do good deeds, sister, brother. You don't just get the point for the good deed. You get ten times. For what? For knowing yourself and being yourself. When you know yourself as a good person and you do good no matter what somebody bad doing to you, sometimes that's hard, right? But if you continue to follow your good spirit, Allah will give you ten times more for doing that. Alhamdulillah, the Rebbe Alameen. So, so that's, that's just tying right in to our nature. And I know Bashir, good news. Always remember that. Muhammad the Prophet Bashir, Nathir, a good news bringer and a warner. And you know somebody named Bashir, Mubashir. Listen to the word. Now, Allah said to the angels in Surah 7 and a few other places, he said, Kolehon Basherun. I'm creating a mortal. So the same word for good news bringer is the same word for you and us, mortal. Basher. Basher is a mortal. And he said to the angels, I'm creating a basher. Now, in, in Bakura, in Bashara, I at 30, Allah says, I'm making a Khalifa. I at 30 said to the angel, Jerry Lunfer at the Khalifa. I'm making a Khalifa in the earth. But then when Allah says in other places, He says, Khalikum Basharun. But in both cases, He told the angels to 
Makes sense then, in both cases, for Caliph and Nabash, and they all did accept it, please. But our point here, I, I know you can get it, is if Bashir means good news bringer, somebody named Bashir, it might be in here, and I'm a good person, good news bringer, right? Basha, from the same root, Basha, right? B S H R, Basha, right? So look what Allah said good news bringer and immortal. That by your nature, you're a good news bringer. You're not created in sin. Get that out of your mind. You're created in excellence with Hasana, right? As Allah says, like I call up now and say, I see queen. I created you in this good nature, right? Upright. And I also made you basher to project, get in your mind into the world before shaitan's influence. Oh, you're just a good, beautiful, honorable creation. And Allah said that we have made honorable all the children of Adam. And remember last week uh, from uh, uh, um, Surah 7, I think Ayat 26, we said, Allah said, Oh, children of Adam. I have set down Nazareth to you garments, clothing, Levasa, to cover your shame and to make you look nice. Right? You, I think it's like 26. We talked about that. And to make you look nice. But listen what he says. But Cairo, Cairo, but the best Levasa is Tukwa. The best dress is Tukwa. Now he put Tukwa in us, so he's giving us the best. And how we know he put Tukwa now? He wants to enhance the Tukwa for us during Ramadan, right? But when you go to Surah Shams, the sun, Allah says, what next say, what man say, what I had, right? By the soul, I balanced it. What did he balance it with? For El Hamaha, Fujuraha, what Tukwa had. That already balanced your soul with a sense to come out of darkness, but also with this natural duck while we drive that home. Your good Allah gave us so much. And I put tough while in you, so when you fast, I'm not giving you something strange to you. I'm enhancing what I already created you with. Beauty of Quran. Powerful book. <laughs> this, is, this is the answer. This is what brought man out of darkness into light. This is, this, this is the guy. This is the power. This is the power. This is what transformed Muhammad Islam into Prophet Muhammad. It was the revelation in the ninth month of Ramadan that brought about the completion of his mortal metamorphosis from Muhammad into Muhammad, Nabi at the Prophet, Nabi at Katimina, the seal of the Prophet, Rasulullah, Quran. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, he was the living, walking Quran. This is it. Allah says, if there was a book by which mountains were moved, or the dead was made to speak, this is it. Allah says in Surah Rahman, 55, always read. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Listen. Oh Rahman, the most gracious, the merciful benefactor. Well, what of him? Alamal Quran. He taught Quran. But look what comes right after that. Color color in sand. He created man. As an act of his grace and mercy, he taught Quran. And from teaching Quran, it creates the true human being. And then it says, Elamal Bayan. And it translated and gave him clear speech. Bayan is clear, but he taught him clarity. And they associate with speech to be able to speak clearly, but it's really just to think and see everything clear. Associate with Quran. This is it. Never doubt Quran. And that's what Ramadan is in commemoration, education of a book being revealed that brought about the birth of Muhammad into Prophet Muhammad Ketim and Nabi, the seal of the prophets, and changed this whole world. And Allah says in Surah 14, uh, 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 Ibrahim, we have sent this book down to bring man out of doom, doom, 
out of darkness into light. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And we say so often, you go to Hashem, Surah 59. Allah said, had I sent this book, Quran, down on a mountain. Ra'aytahu. You would have seen it. Not heard it. Not heard about it. Go read that. It's, it's probably, I think I had 20 or 21 of Surah 59. Had we sent it down on a mountain, Ra'etahu, you would have seen it. Bring it down in the pressure of it. Bring it down. And then shatter it, Menkashiat Delahi, out of the fear of Allah. And Allah said he gives parables to mankind. That is a parable for those Yet defect on for those who reflect. Now, if you reflect on that, and you can go read it, I think it's Ayah 20 of Surah 59, either 20 or 21. Now, here's the beauty of it. Wasn't it revealed on a mountain? Where was Muhammad the prophet? Was he on the land? He was where? On Mount Mira. Now called Jabal Nur, the mountain of the light, in a cave on a mountain. And it was revealed to a man on a mountain. But what did it do to Muhammad the prophet? Did it bring him down and shatter him? No. It raised him up into the ranks of the prophets to let us know that his character, his heart, his spirit, his nature was stronger than a mountain. Because I say what it did to a mountain. But it didn't do that to Muhammad the prophet who was on a mountain, right? And it was revealed upon his poem. It was said, read and address this mind. But Allah said, it is Jibril. He sent him to bring it upon his poem, his heart. That his heart was mightier than a mountain. His character, his goodness, his beauty, right? Just, just, just his total being was powerful than a mountain. And he was on a mountain as an indication that his character and who he was was above everybody else in his original nature. But mighty man carrying the weight of Quran. Alhamdulillah, Rebbein Alameen. Alhamdulillah, all that from Rabban Ajin Afi Dunya Hasanatin. Wafir Afi Rati Hasanatin. Wafir Afi Rati Alhamdulillah, Rebbein Alameen. But all that's to show that Allah say, may honorable all of us. That he created you in this Hassan. When you hear Hassan, all, all that beauty, right? So, dear believers, and we was on that word, but we was putting it in context of Allah saying that he created us in this Hassan, right? And as ba uh, Basha, Basha, and Bashir, right? Bashir, Basha. Same root letters, saying that the human being is naturally a good news bringer. And that's what Allah said when, when, when he said to the angels that I'm creating all the compassion. They had no problem bowing except the jinn. I'm bringing good news upon the earth. Okay, so now, as being created in this Hassan, we want to do good. So Allah says, as we were here in, in Surah, the sixth Surah, the cattle, Allah says, and we read it already. Men ja'at, ja'at to bring, to come forward. They say ja'el ha. Men ja'at bil hasanati. Whoever brings forth goodness. Fellehu ashru. Ashru and balihan. That their credit will be ten times greater than what you bought for. So do good, brother. Give, do good. We get greater ten times. And then Allah says, to make the comparison and let us see the beauty of it, Allah says, one man, whoever, and whoever brings forth an evil deed. Who brings forth something bad? Look what Allah says. Fella, you say, Where whom 
lemon. Their credit or their punishment will just be equal to the bad deed. You see, if you do good, it's ten times over. You do a bad deed, Allah say it's equal to whatever the weight of that is. It's not over that. That's justice. Allah says, if you do good, brother, encourage us to do good ten times. So if you make a mistake or do something wrong, it's just the punishment is equal to that. And if you make Tauba, Allah may forgive you, period. So we wanted to really start with that. And then this is, listen to how that ayat ends. That's as, as ayat 160. Not only do he say if you make a mistake or you commit a wrong, it's just equal to that. Listen to what Allah says. Allah says, Where whom la you la moon? And you won't be done wrong. <laughs> if you did good, you're going to get your 10. If you did bad and Allah says equal to that, nobody going to do you wrong. In other words, if you did this and you should get 15 months, nobody going to give you 15 years. So Allah says, and he ends it to make it clear. Let you won't be done wrong at all. Allah is 